Take me home. <clears throat> so we shall see. This looks like the route we just did. So, let me see. Yeah, that's the one we just did. So let's go a different route this time. Let's do this. Which is still kind of all freeway. But whatever. I'm parked in this spot for a reason, right? I want to see which way this thing goes. Another fun fact. Um, I have press or activated. Like that. Uh, okay. Alright. It's, 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 it's getting the information that it needs. It's doing something where it's like it's pumping the brake and the gas but it's doing some shit down there. So I'm going to help it out. I'm going to hit it. Alright. And get it going. That's that's the way you want to go. That's the way you want to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I was wondering if it was going to go that way. I mean, you can go that way. Uh, what the hell was that? Okay, so... <laughs> what the... <laughs> so, the car just made a right turn with the left turn signal on. Wow. Are you hungry, too? <laughs> oh, man, that was... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's the hit or miss. It. Let's see if it hit this big-ass hole in the ground right here. So, there's nobody coming from that way. Oh, it didn't. Okay. That was pretty good. Alright, luckily we made it out of there alive. Holy shit. Yeah, so he got the right away. Or she. Nobody's coming, so we are at it. In 500 feet, turn right onto so we gotta turn right up here somewhere. So I think of that, that street up there. Now turn right onto North Bay Drive. Right, so we got this. Now this is gonna be the tricky part for it. It is like um it's part rush hour, you know, or the start of it. So it's a lot of cars out. So I wanna see what this thing does up here. Cause it has to it has to turn, then cross the street and get into the the uh, okay, what the hell was that? Okay, what the, <laughs> what the <laughs> man, what the fuck? It's a it's clearly a line right there. All right, so it gets out there, it does this. So if it wanted to, we can go after this Jeep, but it says no, I'm gonna wait for all these other cars. I'm gonna just let it sit here, fuck it. So it's gonna wait. Now we got like a slew of cars coming. If that was me, I would have went way. I wouldn't even stop at the stop sign. We would probably be home right about now. So let's see what it does. And, and it's still in the middle of the fucking turn. <laughs> Luckily, nobody's behind me. Still in the middle. Uh, okay. All right. I, I can kind of see that, right? Now make a U turn to stay on okay. Road. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it kind of did it. <laughs> So it did it. It was, it was pretty safe. All the other cars was back there. I see why I did that. I think, right? It's a red light right here. It's a lot of cars. All the cars that were approaching me have to stop. So they were slowing down anyway. Um, so it, it, it decided to take it, which I'm not mad at that at all. That was pretty fucking good. Or it saw the Tesla back there and it thought, okay, this Tesla's going to stop for me. Nah. That, it didn't even go down like that out here. <laughs> uh, I can't believe the start of the drive and we got two fuck ups already. <laughs> oh man. So it it put the left turn signal on but made a right. Or yeah, it, it, it did yeah, it put the left turn signal on and turned right. And then it got in the middle 
of the two turn lanes. Now that turn lane, it clearly had a line dividing the both both of the lanes. And this car decided, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's let's, let's do that. And it decided, right? I'm not going to use either lane. Now it could have went to the left lane. That's that's usually what you would do if you want to make that U-turn like we just did. You would go to the left lane, and then you would come straight out. You would jump all the lanes and just go right across. So this thing, trying to abide by the law, quote unquote, I guess whatever the fuck it's trying to do, it says, you know what? I'm going to get into the right lane, and then I'm going to turn into the far right lane, and then I'm going to put my turn signal on and get all the way over to the left when it does not have to do that. I guess in some states, maybe it is illegal to do that. It, it may be illegal to do that here, but I know that's what everybody does, right? And no cop, oh my God, no cop is gonna pull you over from cutting a lot of lanes like that. If they do, they just have nothing to do. It must be one of the safest cities in the world for them to pull you over for some stupid shit like that. But, um. Yeah, she 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 kind of did that. I was scared. My heart was beating so hard. <laughs> I mean, it still is, but yeah, that was. Uh... <laughs> oh man! Yeah, again, there's a lot of fucking cars out. So let's see what happens uh, with all these people driving crazy and being on their phones and. With the fucking dog's head hanging out the window. Let's see what she does. Let's see what 12.3.3 has to offer. So that's a school sign. Okay. So it, it's, it stayed with the speed limit. Um, it's doing... It's going kind of slow, but I see why. All right. Like, no way she's going to do 57 with the cars right up there. This should be like school zone times. And as you can see, nobody is doing the school zone speed limit. I'm surprised that school zone speed limit was 35. That was that's kind of weird. Maybe this is a busy enough street to where they can do it. But there's plenty of school zones right down the street from my house. And those streets are pretty busy too. And they still want you to do 25. Or it's still the sign tells you to do 25. I got kind of lucky up there because I had to charge this fucking camera and then the miss the charging me the camera a, a bunch of people just pulled up <laughs> it was about four people that just pulled in them to, to the line so I was like cool you know I'm not getting no leftover chicken you know I'm getting like the, the good stuff only problem is I got like an hour drive back so <laughs> I guess that kind of didn't matter it'd be like Less fresh or some shit. So I don't like that either. Right? They can do something with that. It, it does this fast takeoff, but then it slows down. It's like, oh, I can't go too fast. I got a car in front of me. You know, it's a way to just like accelerate smoothly to not let the car get in front of you. Now, I will honestly say, right, out of all these drives I've been doing, out of all the not driving that I've been doing, I can honestly say that the software doesn't do as much stupid shit as it used to. Like, the start of that drive, I can kind of see that, right? It's in the parking lot. They got to get its footing. It's looking around. Like, just imagine you've been kidnapped, right? And they blindfolded you and put you in a plastic bag. And then they drove out. In the, to the middle of nowhere and just dump your ass out there, right? You will wake up doing the same thing that this car just did. You will be like, wow, like, where the fuck am I? You will be stumbling and, you know, waiting for, um, you know, somebody to come say something to you or trying to look for landmarks and all that shit. I think that's what she was doing. I think she was like, where the fuck do I go, you know? And the software and, and the, the AI was like, all right, we know how to get out of here. We just don't know how to get out of here. And it was like looking for something. You know, but it did put that turn signal on and um, the left turn signal and it, it, it made it straight. Now, it was about to turn left. It was, it, it surely was. 
um, you know, contemplating, oh, okay, I'm about to turn left. But then it said, no, nah, fuck that. It's a shorter way right here, right? Uh, I think, not I think, but the software doesn't do that stupid shit that it used to do. Like, it doesn't do it. Like, I don't have minimal lane changes on, and I, I swear if I was on version 11, this thing would be changing lanes left and right, left and right, left and right, just, just for no reason. But now, it's a it's a hell of a lot better. Like, a hell of a lot. It don't do those little stupid, quirky shits that it used to do, right? Not as much. It still does them, but it's like, it's like a small percentage compared to, like, a huge percentage before. I remember back in the day, um, like version 11, it's really version 11 because it did the most stupid shit. It would get in this lane and try to pass everybody. And then see that, okay, this is a turn only lane. And then it would just try to get back over. You know what, where this is just kind of, it's, it's kind of laid back, even on the assertive. And it says, um, you know, I'm gonna take my time and, and see what, you know, see see where I gotta go. Even if we're in a lane that is, is ending, it knows like, okay, I need to get over. So it gets over. It does a lot of, I'm not going to say smart things. It doesn't do a lot of smart things. It does a lot of uh, like obvious or like uh, what you're supposed to do things now. So it's really streamlined to going where it's supposed to go. Um, I think it could use a bit more skill in the department of getting into the lane that you're supposed to be in ahead of time, right? Because as we saw in that drive to Jolly B, um, you know, it will wait until it got to 0.3 miles and then it will get over. You know, me, I would have been in that lane. But at the same time, I'm human, right? So if I see a car is going slow, I can, me, my reflexes, I can just get over to the, to the left lane shoot up and then get back over. Whereas the car is not going to do that. The car is going to try to just play it as safe as possible. But I do notice like, uh, it's, it's way more comfortable using 12, 0.3, 0.3. It's like all those heart, heart palpitations that I had before and all this fear and this anxiousness that I had um, using full self driving before, it's like not there anymore because I know the car is going to perform you know it's like certain parts I'm like alright is it going to do this here is it going to do that there and then it just does it and I'm like wow okay like that's, you know that's pretty cool you know it, it doesn't do too much of anything stupid anymore I will say it is uh, it does do a lot of uh, I wouldn't even say crazy driving I think they put that in there to try to make it more human, but it doesn't need to do certain things. Um, mainly like the cutting people off, you know. If it's to a point where you get in front of somebody and they have to slow down to avoid hitting you, for me, that's a cutoff. So a cutoff isn't this car is to your right, right? It's in the right lane, but it's eight cars back and you get in front of the car and a car can keep at the speed that it's going and not hit you. That's not a cutoff, but a lot of people would call that a cutoff. You know, my thing is, if you see the car speeding up and you get over and this car got to slow down because you just got in front of it, to me, that would be considered a cutoff. And this car does a lot of that. Like, a lot of it. I think it's spatial awareness level is up a lot like like maybe like 3,000 so now I was like alright I know exactly what I can do or what I can't do I know if this car is like on the side of me I can see it behind me okay, so we had a little slowdown right there but I don't know why don't know why that slowdown happened it didn't have to do that that almost made us miss the light I'm not trying to miss any lights I'm trying to get the fuck home so I can eat And I think that has a big thing to do with the, the parking now too, right? If it's using this spatial awareness to determine, oh, I can get over because that car is behind me, but it's not on the side of me, right? Then I think that has a lot to do with this parking. 
you know, these cars now can detect, okay, I can have the wheel turned this way and still pull into the parking space or back into the parking space um, and not hit this car. That's another thing I've noticed, right? Another huge thing that I've noticed with FSD is that now, if I'm not mistaken, in order for you to have auto park, you either have to have like enhanced uh, autopilot or full stuff driving. You got to pay for one of those services in order to have the auto park feature. I don't think if you're not paying for any of those, then you will have the auto park feature. But it's funny how auto park always reverses into the spot. I've never seen auto park pull, in, pull straight into a spot. Like, I've never used auto park because I use auto park a lot okay that was a hard slowdown but it wasn't it was still smooth you know it was like nice um damn bitch how far are you gonna stick out damn the car literally had to move into down there into the other lane to, to pass it um I've never seen it where auto park pulls forward into the spot it's always backing into it which I guess is a good thing because that's what I normally do anyway, you know, as a regular human driver. But I do notice that the software does that. Like it just, any spot that you wanted to park in, it backs into it. Um, I haven't really used the parallel parking feature because there's not too many places I go where I have to parallel park. So I, I, I gotta try to check that out one of these days. Um, I've had this thing try to park in spaces that's not parking spaces and I, I literally just sat back and let it do it and you know it started beeping at me because I'm uh, you know I'm like why are you beeping at me and you're the one that's trying to park there <laughs> you know uh, yeah it hit it that's another thing about FSD is that it does not avoid holes in the ground all right so we are going kind of slow so I'm gonna hit the accelerator to speed it up um, it doesn't avoid holes in the ground, potholes. <laughs> so that was a that was a nice control stop. I'm not mad at that stop. My co my coffee probably would still be in the mug right now if I did that stop. Yeah, there there's been plenty of holes in the ground, manhole covers, um, where the ground is raised up above it, um just huge craters in the ground where this thing has just rolled right over them. I had in a couple of drives, uh, a drive not too long ago where it seemed like my car was staring towards holes to hit them. Um, I had one instance where a bunny was crossing the street and the car swerved towards the bunny. You know, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Like, is the car trying to maybe go to the service center? You know, I drive up there just uh, frivolously all the time just, just to have the car drive up there, but I don't want to have to go up there to actually get something fixed. Yeah, anything in the road. Normally, if it's an obstacle in the road, right? Like, I had, um, it was like a sign, and the sign was, it wasn't plastic or steel. It was like some kind of material that can fold and bend, and the sign was folded to where it was sticking up out of the ground but it was just on the ground and the car avoided it like the car moved out of the way of it you know it's been like garbage cans laid out on the ground um even stuff as small as like shoe boxes newspapers that's you know on the ground but it's flapping in the wind and the car will move out of the way of stuff like that so i think the car can see um well, it, I know it can. But the car can see certain objects. It can see something that's not level with the ground or something that, you know, deviates from being the ground. And it can move out the way. Um, I've had it where, you know, driving at night and the car suddenly stops. And I'm like, why the fuck are you stopping? So normally I look around first. And... You know, then I hit the accelerator. And I look to my left, and I see like five deer just in the street. 
And I'm like, damn, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Like, I, I really didn't see that. So one of the deer came out, the car stopped, and then all the rest of the deer crossed the street, and then that's when the car went. Had a situation yesterday. We were coming home, and I had to make a right turn onto the street, right? Onto my street. So I was making a right turn onto my street. And I saw this guy. He was, like, on the sidewalk. He wanted to cross the street that I had to turn onto. And I saw the guy had on a bright red jacket, and... He stood on the on the sidewalk, right? Like letting me go through. So the car just sat there. I, I guess the car thought, um, <laughs> I guess the car thought, yeah, this guy's gonna cross the street, right? So the guy started waving me to go, and then the car just went. So I'm trying to think, right? Because I I still don't want to believe it. I want to believe it because it's Tesla. They can pretty much do whatever the fuck they want to do. But at the same time, I really don't want to believe it, right? Did the car go because he it saw the human wave his hand, right? The car waved, the human waved the car to say, yeah, you can go and I'll cross the street after you, right? Or did the car see the human just standing there and say, okay, he's not moving, I can go. You know, that, that was a different situation. But I think it's the latter. I think the car saw the human not moving and it decided, okay, with with it being in the assertive, it said, I'm going to go. I didn't hit the accelerator or anything. I just sat there to see what the car was going to do. And the car did exactly that. It just went bam. It went. 1, feet. Turn right onto East 11 mile I mean, this car, this software does have this car doing some pretty, like, uh, fascinating shit. Some shit that's like, wow, like, is the car supposed to be doing that? You know, turn right onto East 11 Mile Road. I had it to, I've even had this car to where I'm in the left turn lane, right? I have a light. The, the arrow, it was an arrow, and the arrow was blinking yellow, right? The light turns green for everybody to go, you know, their ways. The arrow was blinking yellow. And it was two cars. They was right side by side, you know, coming at me. And I guess what happened? What the hell was that? Keep going! Wow! You know, no. Nah, let me let me do this. No, did you? Mm -mm, no. Nah. You must not, you must not know where we're from. Um. You know, so I got this blinking yellow arrow, and the cars that were coming at me had a green light. But they, both of them must have been on their phone because they weren't moving, right? So I'm thinking like, all right, we're gonna wait for these cars to go and then turn. No, the car turned in front of these cars. Like the car literally just turned. Oh, I wanna see what it does up here because there's a lot of people up here. And I, don't, I think this turns into a turn lane, I'm really not sure. I see if it, this was me, I would have been in the left lane already. I would have been in the left lane. Now, I'm pretty sure it's going to have an opportunity to get into the left lane, but I would have been in the left lane like like now. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, man. I swear this thing hears me. Okay. So, it didn't stop for the yield signs. It stopped because the cars were stopped. Are we going to make this light? Are we going to make this? Yeah, we are with my foot on the fucking accelerator. So I'm, I'm not mad at what it did. <laughs> Shit like that, like it just. Oh man, man, that was that was kind of wild. That was crazy. Now if this was me, I would have been no, nope, cause the truck up there. But I would have been doing 80 already, and this thing is just going extra slow, like like it doesn't know what to do. We got this short merge lane coming up, but it's nobody on the side of us really. So okay, so that was that was all right. That was pretty cool. You know, I'm not too mad at that. That was all right. Yeah, shit like that, right? It, it, it got over, but it did this hard slowdown. Now, to slow down, um, as you heard, right, the food. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, now we got the Range Rover going. And now we can go after this. Okay. Wow. So, it, it needs to work on that, too. 
you know, making these decisions, you know. If you if you know you can make that decision, do it. You know, just just do it. You know, it does it and then it like backs out, you know. Like some crazy chick. Um Yeah, it it, it got over but did this hard slowdown. And it could have been over there in that lane that whole time. Now, if that was me, I would have stayed in the right. Like, like me driving, I would have stayed in the right lane and I would have sped the fuck up. I know the speed limit was 40. I would have been doing 80, you know, just to, uh, you know, just to get past that light. But yeah, it got over to the left lane, did this very hard slowdown that wasn't, it was hard. You can feel it. But at the same time, it was still controlled right and it felt smooth but it was still pretty hard and um they got it to the left lane but again if if, if those yield signs weren't there i don't think the car would have stopped that car would have just kept going it would have just said fuck these people getting off the freeway which i kind of say that too but i'm at least going to slow down and if i see because people they come off the freeway doing 70 and 60 so you know, I at least slow down for that because I'm not trying to, you know, be the, at fault. Okay, what the fuck was that? Yeah, it's riding that lane pretty fucking hard. It's like real close to the right lane. And it does not have to do that. Like, it just doesn't. But I zip through these lanes doing like 120 and still be right in the middle. This thing is doing 80 and it's having a hard time staying in the middle. Or at least staying away from other cars, because that SUV was right by us. Like I thought we were about to go over there and hit it. Luckily it didn't. And then that's another thing, right? Do I'm not gonna say do humans do that, right? I know they do. Like humans do that just going straight. But okay, hard slow down. Oh okay, I kinda I, I kinda see why. I kinda see why. It didn't have to do that, but I, I, I kind of see why. This person must be on the phone or they must be eating or something. Nah, he just old. But at, at the, again, we're riding the right side of the lane. We're very close to the right side of the lane. I don't know why the car does that. I really don't. It slowed down because that car, lit, okay, so, so, we, so we got that. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. So it could have got over, but that would have been cutting it off. That would have been cutting this car off. <laughs> and it, it, it sat there and was like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I do this? Should I do that? It's like, no, you just get the fuck over. Fuck these people, man. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have some hard slowing down coming up here. This is the fucked up part. See, if it was me, I would have let him over. You know, share the road. The car just said, fuck him and his turn signal. Right? We got another one. So I don't know if he let him over or if he was like, okay, I need to get over too. So we just gonna. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, that was fine. I guess let him know, hey, I'm trying to get over. I'm about to get over. Nope, I'm not about to get over. Okay, now I'm about to, you know, kind of scare him up. Like the car could have just got over. It decided, you know, I'm about to try to get over, and then I'm a, you know, I'm gonna cross them up, you know. There go another Cadillac lyric, bro. What the fuck? Wow, is that the same? No, that that got a manufacturer's plate, so that don't count. Yeah, screw him. So we can't get to where we gotta go from this lane, as you can see right up there. But I just want to see what the car does. Turn signal, and then we go bam. Hey that, hey, that was pretty smooth. That was real smooth. Because I thought this thing was going to do a hard get over. And it was like, okay, you know what? And then it, 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 it kind of just slid on over there. Yeah, that was, that was pretty sweet. I like that. Look at us taking M M8. I don't know what M8 is. Look at us taking 8 miles? Are we taking 8 miles? M8. I forget what the M8 is, but yeah, that was that was you know that was pretty slick. That was pretty cool. I used to hate FSD with freeway driving because it always did stupid shit, or it would be too hesitant 
or it would make a stupid decision. But at least now I was thinking, right? That that whole situation that just happened was a sign of the software saying, okay, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, instead of just doing it. So that's something that leads to progress. That's progress within itself, but that's leading to uh, better driving behaviors. Because because once it does that enough, it can kind of gather information to say, okay, I can't make this, or yeah, I can make this. All right, so we, we got the, the that nice bump of speed. Let's, let's see what it does up here, All right? Cause I know we, I, I do this going real fast. Okay. So it slowed down a little bit. It did a little something. Hey, but it's pretty much doing it. That's fine. I am all with it. What the fuck is M8? That must be 8 mile. That can't be 8 mile. Alright, it's gonna have to get over a lane. <laughs> oh man, she be hearing the shit out of me, man. That Tesla needs to add that, man. They need to add. Okay. That was a little sticky type situation. Now, if this was me, I would have shot up and got in front of everybody. It looked like it's about to be a pretty mush up here. I think it has to get over again. And we are right by a truck, right? Yep, so it has to get over again. Uh, I'm just seeing what it's gonna do. Yep, that's the best thing to do. Best thing to do right there. Just, hey, hey she just shut me the fuck up. But why would you stay over here? Like, that's stupid. Get the fuck over. Damn. What the hell? Oh, they talking about Davidson. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, so it can get over. It got enough room. That car was going slow enough. So that was, that was pretty good. It, it was being nice to that truck. But, um, yeah, I, I, do, I do apologize to the other trucks that I pissed off. All right, now it's getting back over. No, it was getting over here. Okay. So I don't know why I got over here when um, it could have stayed over there. It looked like everybody is going to about the same speed. It's about the same amount of traffic everywhere, but that's good. That's that's good for this drive because we're going to have to see it get all the way to fuck back over very soon. Oh, man, it's going to the, to the D with it. Oh, man. So we got it's it sped up to do that. All right now, what you gonna do now? All right, you got this person slowing down. You got this truck on the side of us. I know it wants to get over. It's just gonna have to make that decision on when can it? And knowing this thing, it's gonna do a hard slowdown to try to get over. Like a very hard slowdown. So we still got about a mile to get off. So it has room. So it's, yep, it's gonna do this. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm not opposed to that, right? It's cool. Cause there's nobody over there. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fine. <laughs> it could have just got in front of that truck. You know, the one that's in front of us. It could have got over again, but it's, it's like, nah. So it's, it's, it's still got quite a distance to get over, you know, and people are being forgiving. I wonder what's taking it so long. He's put the turn so long, but that person is clearly on the phone. I was going to try to wait and squeeze in. All right. So you did this show that you can go right there. Get over, get over. Get over, damn it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But don't stop right here. What the fuck is you doing? Get the fuck over. Like, hurry up and get over. Oh, my goodness, man. What in the fuck? 
All right, now do not try to get into the left lane to cut up uh, ahead of cars. Just stay your ass over here, please. Man, she got me out here looking bad and shit. Okay, so it's moving. It normally does that here, you know, the whole slowdown because people are trying to get on to another freeway and they try to um, get off of this one. We got a nice little interchange coming up too. It's gonna be a right curve, then it's gonna be two lanes going into one. So I wanna see what the car does. It would be best to just get right the fuck over. Um, it's gonna be kind of a zipper merge once we get up there. So I wanna see how the car handles that. You know, are people gonna force us off of the freeway? Cause even if it does, we can get right back on. Or, I don't have anything else for that. It was just, that was it. So the best thing to do is to get into this lane as soon as you see the opening, right? Oh, see that Durango knows, so he, he knows what to do. Yeah, best thing to do is as soon as it opens up. Wow, everybody gonna get in front of this truck, huh? It's moving though, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Especially for this time. Oh, we got the part coming up too where this thing down there killed me. So I gotta see exactly what this thing does at that point. I'm pretty sure it'll be uh, pretty great. So you got the people getting on to this freeway and you got us on this freeway getting off to go to the next one so we are about to see how the fuck this shit goes down seeing as how slow we're going this thing should have no problem just getting over but these people that's getting on the freeway and i do understand them but they're kind of in rush mode because they're like look you know i gotta get going you know i gotta get up to speed and um i like i said i understand that but you know we gotta work together man Wonder Pets. So let's see what the car does. So the car is keeping a tight spot in between it. Okay. See, that car knows what to do. That car knows. But we don't have a turn sent on or anything. Right? So now we got this SUV on the side of us. Right? We should keep the turn sent on. <laughs> like what the hell all right so now we over here and this suv is probably just gonna get in front of us kind of figured that <laughs> which i'm not mad at we're not going anywhere Slightly tricky part up here. It's going to be the same. It's going to be. It's going to be people trying to get into one lane, and we'll see exactly how that goes once we get up here. Got a little uh, wheel shake for some reason. <laughs> So it doesn't look too bad up there. I see those cars are moving. Okay. So we, we 
it should be good because the SUV behind us is being pretty nice. That was that was that, that was pretty much on point. That was spot on. Now let's see what it does up here. No, we're not doing no fucking 63. So we got Kia trying to get over. We got Soul trying to slide on over here. Um Yep, that yep, you can do that. Please do. And then I want to see what it does once the freeway ends. Previous software versions, especially 11, when the freeway ended, it will still be doing 80. We're like no, we're like not on the freeway, and this thing is doing 80. So I want to see once it passes the speed limit sign, will it, will it, um, you know, slow down and actually obey it, or is it still going to be doing 80? See, that's what we need to be doing. Get in this lane until you can't ride it no more and then get over it. Man, they got construction going on every fucking way. That's not even construction. This is the jail people picking up trash. Alright, we got the speed limit sign, right? Let's see what happens. Okay. So it's changed. It did its thing. Oh, we're in the slow lane though. Well, it, it stopped, but only because um, the car is up here. We gotta drive through the hood for a couple of miles. So hopefully my rims and tires don't get stolen within that distance. You'll see on this street too, nobody does 40. Everybody's doing 50, 55, 60. I wonder where that motorcycle thing he about to go. So that light was pretty quick. Oh, unless they just ran the red light. No, it, it, it changed. Hopefully the bullets fly through these this car through the windows or anything like that. Again, this will be the best time to use FSD. That's when it's a shitload of cars out like this. The car did not stop for this person sitting right in the middle of the tail street. They have a green light. He's in a turn lane. <laughs> oh, man. All right, see, hard slow down, but it wasn't bad. You know, I, I see my food is, uh, it's, is, it hasn't moved forward. You know, it hasn't spilled out. So that's, I appreciate the stops that this thing is doing. It was using those motors to its advantage. Now, it is kind of scary when you got the car in front of you not moving or going very slow and the car that you're in is still going very fucking fast. That is kind of daunting, but at the same time, uh, Tesla doesn't want to be responsible for a collision. Like we got a green light. Normally after this light, we will make the rest of them. We will make all the other ones. But seeing as how everybody's uh you know driving the way they are, that may not be the case. Normally this crosswalk, where it says crosswalk, the car would normally slow down as if people were crossing the street. Like like this thing right here, it would slow down. Right? And it's not slowing down, it's, it's, it's just going. 
So that was pretty good. Turn left to take the interstate Even using cruise control, the car will slow down right there. Now, I haven't used cruise control since I got on 12. So I really don't know what it would do right about now, but yeah, that's a, that's a fucking sigh of relief. We got the park coming up where the car almost killed us. Wow, Happy Meal box. Another crosswalk that it, it just goes right through. So the part right up here. Okay, that was pretty cool. So the truck behind his nose now, it's like, oh, this thing keeps slowing down extra fucking fast. So it kind of, you know, kind of backed up. Oh, we didn't make this light though. So right up here, I'm kind of kind of glad we got the red light anyway. Right up here. I was taking somebody home. We were in the middle lane, which is the lane to the right of us. We were in the middle lane. It's like two o'clock in the morning. And there was an SUV in this lane that we're in. So the SUV was to the left of us, rear in the middle lane, to the right of us. And the light was green, and we're doing this little curve to go that way, right? And the SUV uh, like everybody does. I don't know why it's so hard to stay in the fucking lane. But the SUV was like coming into our lane, but it knew, right? The SUV knew it wasn't going to come into our lane. He was just doing a turn all extra stupid. So the car, you know, full self driving, I guess saw this SUV coming into our lane. And instead of making an evasive maneuver, luckily nobody was around. Luckily. Instead of making an evasive maneuver, this thing went to that pole right there. That pole right there, it literally just headed straight towards that pole. So I had to take over real quick and, <laughs> and steer it away from that pole. And the person that was in the car, just he was just quiet. Like, oh man. You know, I'm like, damn, like my bad, but... I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> that shit was scary. Cause if I had to take it over, I don't know what the car would have done. If it would have hit that pole head on, or if it would have made another evasive maneuver to not hit the pole. But that shit was, uh, it was pretty deep. Pretty damn deep. Now stupid shit like that, it hasn't done. I, I, I haven't seen it do anything like that. It's leaving a huge gap up here for some reason. Now this whole, t okay. Is it trying to let the car over? Nigga, uh, 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 are you even gonna look? He not even, oh, okay, all right. That's why, okay, you got a turn signal on for that. Even though you really don't need your turn signal on for that. All right, so that was a nice little, that was, that was the nice little turn that it did. A lot of people get that turn wrong. A lot of people try to do that turn from this lane and end up over there somewhere. And I don't know how. Alright, so we got 80. We're taking the expressway. Alright, so that was, that was, that was alright. So all, right off the bat, we should be getting over. I'm, I'm not even talking about this. Nobody's on our left, which is good. Now we got a couple of cars coming up. You can speed up though. But you know what, they, they are up there. So I guess we're good for now. Yeah, I just have to see what it does once it gets up there, okay. All right, so it puts the turn signal on and it, it like did a little juke. 
Then it turns into now I was putting it back on. Of course, this person. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. I would have took it. I would have done it. All right. Now we we gonna do it again. <laughs> All right. So we can, we should we should be able to get over now. Wow, car. Wow. What the fuck. <laughs> Oh man! All right, get over, damn it, damn. <laughs> man, man, we could have been over here. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fun, man. All right, are we gonna stay in this lane though? Nope. Okay, that was pretty cool. Now we got nine more miles of boring freeway drive. Um, I really don't have any complaints for the software on this freeway because um, it's really nothing stupid for it to do. Okay, I don't know what that was. It touched the yellow line and then it did this hard slowdown like that. All right, we got a police chase up there that's not on our side. Oh, here the F-150, that was kind of sweet. I don't know if he was chasing somebody or he was just trying to get to the damn casino buffet. Yeah, I don't know what that was back there. It was a slight curve, which it should have had no problems with. And it's, it's it did a hard slowdown about six miles, and then it touched the yellow line. Like it couldn't see the yellow line. Like somebody was on our right side trying to get over, which was not the case. You would think you want your twelve thousand dollars software, you know, or two hundred dollars a month, whatever you're doing, to drive like, you know, like normally, like you would, like a, a regular person. But maybe that's how regular people drive nowadays. See that SUV got it got the right idea. Just pass everybody. We got more curve up here. So let's see if this thing actually obeys the curve or is acts drunk. Okay, it's pretty much centered. Oh no, there it goes, okay, all right. I mean, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I do my curves perfect every time, but I guess full self driving doesn't. So you know, it's it's still learning though. It's, it still has a lot to take in. All right, but for some reason we are we like damn near in the middle lane right now. It's a lot of room over here that can forgive the car. Now it's back center. So we got nothing but cars up there, but all the cars are flowing. They're going. Uh, I see red lights. Uh oh. Who didn't kill themselves up here now? Yep, and it's raining. So that was cool. That was good. That was a nice, controlled, um, perfectly timed slowdown. So yeah, I can I can get with that. Yeah. So it's just it looked like it's just busy up there. I don't see any ambulances any police cars or tow trucks or anything like that. So it's just a lot of fucking people leaving. I forgot, you know, school is letting out. Um, you got all that traffic. You know, it'll be really nice, right? It will be very, that was a hard slowdown. It was, it, it was, it was, it was pretty hard, but it was still, you know, 
it was still good. Bro, uh, don't tell me that's another Cadillac Lyric over there. Do not tell me that's another one. And he just got that boy. Oh, he must be taking it for a test drive because it is a Chevy dealer up there. Dang, they, they, must, they must be charging the... Um, they must have a cheap price tag. I, I've seen a, so many of those out here now. Now, I don't think he's taking it for a test drive. He He's taking that thing home. That's a temporary plate. That's not a uh, dealer plate. Hmm. That, that thing, it does look pretty nice. Uh, one thing Tesla needs to add to the navigation, right? One thing that Tesla needs to put in their cars is a option on the navigation for avoid highways. That would be pretty fucking awesome. That would be pretty sweet. I don't think Tesla, especially now with 12.3.3 being the way it is, with it being so smooth and nice and, you know, like real chauffeur-like, I think they can add that option to avoid highways. I really do think that they can. But I don't think Tesla has the Weibos to do that. You know, they're going to try to route you the fastest, which is not the most efficient for your battery, but they're going to try to route you the fastest way. They at least give us the alternate routes. So I think that the avoid highways button is next. I think that's what Tesla needs to put in there to make stuff um, more interesting, you know, because you, you got some people that don't want to take the highway. You got some people that want to, you know, take a street all the way down, but if they don't know how, then, I mean, they should. All right, so we getting over another two miles. Nobody's over there. I guess we was holding these people up behind us. And then it'll be interesting to see what it does once it gets off the freeway. Once it gets off the freeway, it's street driving, which is exactly what we want. But it'll be interesting with all the cars out, like all the stupid shit that's happen happening, that's going to happen, that could happen. All right, that was cool. Pass her and then. Why is he riding her ass like that, though? I mean, not in that way. I'm just saying. Yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> that truck could have... Oh, that's why. He could have been got over. The truck was way behind him. All right, let's see how hard it gets into this, uh... The, in, the exit thingy to get off. Again, me, if, if I was driving, I would be over there in the right lane already. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny, man. That's funny. So maybe that's what this thing is. Right? It's a microphone right there. So when, when we say stuff, right, it hears it, and then it just interprets the data. and was like, all right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do what he said. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw that. That was pretty damn hard. It like, he yanked. Like tug of war or some shit. You see, you see these people? That's what you do at a yield sign. You, you fucking yield to the people that's coming off the freeway. Learn something. Oh, you know what? Nope. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, man. No. No, we're not playing that. What, what the hell is... Oh, oh okay. All right. You put the turn signal on very early. Very early. I thought it was about to get back on the freeway. I thought it was about to stop at that yellow light that we didn't stop at. Damn, man. It's, it's, oh, man. It's like... Like, we had enough room to go. Now 
turn left onto Stark Road. Oh, okay. He's trying to make it right. That was weird. He was going on extra slow. See, not like this, right? What What the fuck was that? Which lane are you trying to go in? Damn. So it looked like it was about to go to the right lane. But from a legal standpoint, I think it's supposed to turn into the left lane and then put his turn signal on and go to the right lane. But it turned into both lanes, technically. Physically. Roadily. And now, so we're not like sticking out in the other lane, but it's like kind of cutting it close. So this is the lane that we need to be in because we have to make a right turn up here. Uh, I guess that was cool too because you know you got people turning right there, so we didn't have to wait. Yeah, we got a little slowdown for some reason, so I'm going to hit it. We got some railroad tracks coming up here, so I want to see if it actually was well, already going slow. So never mind. Never. Fucking mind. So I wonder what is making it. What the hell is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wow. So I, I see it clearly didn't get over for that. But no one wants to stay over here and go fucking slow. Hmm. Some little SUV that passed us. And it was a Ford SUV, but it looked different. Like it was from another country or something like that. I don't know what that thing was. It can't be the new Explorer. Because it, it looked too small to be that. There you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. Dang, everybody just said, fuck this smart transit thingy. So you going to follow it, turn it on to the on to Plymouth? Oh, no, it's not going to make that turn. And well, would you look at that? It tells you right there. All right, well, now we got... Okay, so what's going on? All right, so what is it, are you going to... That's weird. It's turning into the middle of both of the lanes. Oh, yeah, I want to see what it does over here. Freshly painted lane markings. I want to see. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a lot better. Oh no, please don't get in the middle. Please get on the outside. So I like like this. It tries to center itself, but you see the lane. So please, please get on out. Hey, how close you gonna get to the fucking bus? Damn. Right. Like what? What are you doing? Get in the fucking lane. Now turn left onto Road. <laughs> that was a lot less scary than what it used to be, but all right. Let's see. Yep, so it got on the line. It pretty much got on the line. It did that faster than it do a normal turn. All right, yeah, that, that's what you, you were supposed to bend did that, man. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Hitting the accelerator to make it do the speed that I wanted to do. Oh, my goodness, man. We just going to follow that old man driving that old bus. For some reason, it's gravitating towards the right, and I don't know why. It is almost like somebody's driving, right? And then once it starts going straight, whoever's driving, you know, like from the command center, they like look down at their phone or something like that. Like they keep playing Uno, World Tour, or whatever it's called. And then they look up and like, oh shit, and they put it back in the middle. Like right now, it seems centered. No, it's, it's, it's going to the right again. It's, it's, 
Real close to the right. Nice slow down. They keep doing these kind of hard slow downs. I'm not opposed to it. I have confidence the car will stop if needed. All right, motorcycle. You better watch it. All right, so that's cool. A little speed up, right? This accelerator. You got a lot of cars up here. A shitload. You know, that traffic wasn't too bad, though. That traffic was pretty damn flowable. So it's gonna have to get to the right eventually, but it's like no rush for it to. Now I normally stay over here because another lane opens up over there and it's like better flowing traffic than everybody just being in this lane, kind of like how it is now. So version 11, as you just saw that car got into the left lane, which is the turn lane, and shot up. In version 11, this car, right, the software almost used to get fooled. Like, it would, like, it was weird. Um, so the car would be going, and if the car in front of it got over, like it just did, either left or right lane, it would start speeding up as if it's not another car in front of that car. And then it would have to do this hard slowdown. I notice now it doesn't do that anymore. It's like it's just going at a speed to where it can see what's up there. And it says, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop because it's, you know, it's people up there. So this makes me wonder if this car did have a LiDAR, would it make a difference, right? Would this thing be smoother when it comes to stopping, turning? and sensing other cars in front of other cars or would it kind of be the same? Man, the smell of this food is making me so fucking hungry. I'm about to start eating my hand off. I believe if we were in the right two lanes, we would have made this light. All right, one more mile, and we're still to the far left. Luckily, this is slower moving traffic. Another light missed. So normally right here, and once we pass the light, the car, it like defaults to 25 miles per hour or 30 miles per hour. And I don't know why it does that. Until it sees the sign that's right up there that says 45 and then it goes to 45. But we're already doing 45. Let's see what the car does. All right, so the car, okay. Well, you need a go. Why are you slowing down? Why, why? Why? 
Like, what makes it do that? What is, again, what videos does it see to say, I'm just going to do 40 right here instead of 45? That's some really annoying shit. All right, now speed up. <laughs> It normally does this right turn very fucking slow. No, not right here. <laughs> turn right onto Stacy Street. Okay. Oh, if I was that van, I would have took that. I'm gonna look like some old white lady. Yeah, like that. It it went down to ten. <laughs> like what the hell? All right, we got a battery of stop signs. I'm just gonna let it do it. Nobody's coming, like at all. And it and it's still kinda so that wasn't a creep, but that was a creep. To me that was. Alright, so again, nobody's coming. I know this car behind me is gonna be pissed. But you know what? Fuck her. Oh, so that was cool. That was cool. It just went. All right, so we're stopping here for some reason. Nobody's coming again. It's it crept up for for something. Uh, yeah. That was weird. stupid all right so nobody's coming from you know across in 500 feet turn right onto North Berry Street nobody's coming so is it gonna creep out all right, I'm pretty sure it can see behind that tree. Well, at least it didn't creep out into the middle of the street. Now turn right onto North Berry Street. We got a right turn coming up here. A lot of people like to run this stop sign. Yep, and and the rest is history. You know, I kind of like that uh, rush hour of traffic driving. That was that was pretty good. I got to do that more. Is on the left. It is on the left. I don't know what the hell you doing. Um, that's it. I'm about to go in here and harass the fuck out of this food, and I will see y'all on the next one. Shut up.